what is up guys subtricks here and welcome back to my channel so in this video i am going to be talking about my profile my admits and rejects for the fall 22 term for mscs and also finally i will be revealing my university the university that i will be going to to pursue my higher education so let's go Okay, so let's start off this video with a glance over my profile. So I did my undergraduation from Government College of Engineering and Ceramic Technology in Kolkata. My undergraduation stream was Computer Science and Engineering. I had a CGPA of 9.07 out of 10 after my 4 years of undergraduation. I had a GRE score of 320. The breakdown was 164 in Quants, 156 in Verbal and a 4 in AWA. I had a TOEFL score of 116. I had a 4 months AI internship at Lambda Vision IGZO. I had a published paper in Global Journal of Computer Science and Technology and also had a few machine learning projects on my resume. So that was basically my profile with which I applied and uh, yeah, now let's move on to decisions. Okay, so the first university that I heard back from was Arizona State University. I applied there on 12th November 2021 and I received my admit on 5th January 2022. So yeah, it was my first admit and I was like beyond happy over the moon so i was running around the house and like really hyped up because first admit you know the next university i heard back from was georgia state university i applied there on 26th november and i received my admit on 24th january now i applied to georgia state specifically because gsu is known for giving out a lot of you know scholarships and tuition waivers but I received uh, nothing and uh, on top of that they slapped me with a prereq so yeah was a bit salty but nonetheless happy so now comes the next university the next university was UT Dallas I applied there on 26th November 2021 and received my decision on 3rd February 2022 and the decision was an admit but here too similar to GSU I also got one prereq so yeah the next decision was from North Carolina State University. I applied there on 26th November 2021 and I received my decision on 18th February 2022. Now the decision was that I was not being recommended for the MSCS course that I applied for but I was instead being recommended for the MCS course that is that is their professional master's computer science program. So yeah I was hoping to get into the MSCS course because I thought I had a strong profile for NCSU but you know it is what it is. So the next decision was Indiana University Bloomington. I applied there on 11th December 2021 and I received my decision on 2nd March 2022 and the decision was an admit. Okay, so the next university that I heard back from was UC San Diego, a pretty big university and I applied there on 27th November 2021 and I received my decision on 29th March 2022 and it was a reject from their side. So it was my first reject of the cycle. And UCSD was like a very, very, very ambitious college for me. So I was like, did not have much hope of getting in, but still, you know, a reject hurts any day. Okay, moving on, the next university that I heard back from was University of Massachusetts at Amherst. I applied there on 24th November 2021 and I received my reject on 8th April. So two rejects back to back. Again, it was a pretty ambitious school for me and this year the competition was so tough so I guess I couldn't square off with the competition. So, yeah. Okay, so the next university that I heard back from was University of California at Riverside. So, I applied there on 11th December and I received my admit on 15th April 2022. And the last university that I heard back from was University of California at Irvine. I applied there on 26th November 2021 and I received my decision on 1st May 2022 and it was a reject from their side. So that was it, my application cycle. I ended my application cycle with a reject. So it hurt a bit but considering what my profile was, uh, the amount of admits I got, I was, I was pretty happy at the end I have to say. I was pretty happy with my results. Also something I would like to mention is that I applied to California State University Long Beach. It was one of the first universities that I applied to. But later on they asked me for some extra documents that is my transcripts and my degree to be couriered over to them. And at that point I already had an admit from Arizona State University. So I did not feel like progressing with the application to CSU Long Beach anymore. So I withdrew my application because I wasn't feeling like spending extra dollars on 
sending stuff over by courier again so yeah so yeah that concludes all my decisions for fall 22 for the mscs program i got six admits and three rejections that is rejections from all my ambitious schools and this year the competition was pretty pretty fierce pretty brutal fall 22 was very brutal like a bloodbath and i figure spring 23 fall 23 are only gonna be more brutal then this cycle is just gonna continue so i was i was pretty happy with my results so now let's talk about the university that i finalized so after a lot of thinking and a lot of deliberation i finally chose indiana university bloomington as my final destination and there's some reason behind it why so let me tell you now when people hear iu bloomington they are like oh it's great for ds course data science course but for cs yeah it's pretty great for cs too Indiana University Bloomington consistently rank, ranks its CS program consistently ranks within top 50 in the US. IU Bloomington CS alumni are spread all over the US and the world working in top tech firms and tech companies and their alumni size is like huge because it is one of the oldest CS departments there that there is in the US. Now the program requires 30 credits to be completed and people generally complete it within two years. There are some excellent electives like artificial intelligence, machine learning, image processing and stuff that I am really interested in. And there are some highly distinguished professors like Dr. David Crandall, Dr. Christopher Raphael under whom I would like to work if I get a chance. Now some people argue against IU Bloomington saying that Bloomington is a very secluded place that it uh, doesn't give you an edge in terms of uh, internship and job opportunities. I would say there is some truth to it that is Bloomington is not a very big city in itself compared to other admits that I've got but uh, does it hamper your opportunities for internships and jobs probably not because I have talked to many seniors over LinkedIn who are currently studying at IU Bloomington who have passed out from IU Bloomington from both CS and DS courses and they all had to say one thing that is it completely depends on you the kind of internships you get, the kind of job you land after you graduate, it completely depends on you. How much you have done in those two years of your masters, how much you have networked with people, how much you have grinded lead code, done coding and done unique projects and everything. It all comes down to you. And opportunities, there are in plenty because uh, especially after COVID, this location factor is, is very negligible because all the recruitment and the hiring takes place online. So, you know, you go to a job portal, you apply to a job and then, yeah, if they like your resume, if they like your profile, they will call you for interviews and that's how you get a job. So location, not a very big factor. Yeah, factor of course, but not a very big factor after this whole COVID scenario. So if you are choosing IU Bloomington, don't be afraid that it's in a very secluded remote place. So you won't get opportunities like other college students are getting. Don't. And the weather at Bloomington, it's pretty good, uh, the weather, you can actually experience the four seasons, that is uh, summer, fall, winter and spring, not necessarily in that order, but you can actually experience all the four seasons there in Bloomington, so it, yeah, it's pretty great and Bloomington is like the ideal college town, the perfect college town for a student, no distractions, a very beautiful small town where you can just, you know, do stuff that you like and focus on your studies, your academics. Now, I was pretty confused between North Carolina State and Indiana University Bloomington. Now, NCSU, there are certain points that I did not choose NCSU after all because NCSU, first of all, it's costly. The I-20 value itself was around $7,000 more than what IU Bloomington's I-20 value was. So that was a very huge point because everyone wants to complete their masters within less amount of money, right? Secondly, I liked IU Bloomington's course structure curriculum better than NCSU. Thirdly, NCSU has like a bigger batch size because this year I saw they admitted over like 400 plus Indians to their MCS course and IU Bloomington has over like 250 plus Indians for their MSCS course. So I guess a bigger batch size there will be at NCSU. So that might also affect my chances of getting a TA or even maybe on campus job. Who knows? So that was not a very big reason but one of the reason for sure so yeah that was all so finally i have uh, chosen indiana university bloomington and i can't wait to go there i have already gotten my i20 from the university and i will be starting my visa processes soon so yeah india to indiana it has a nice ring to it i like that so can't wait to be a hoosier go hoosier so that's it for this video if you like this video give it a big thumbs up hit that subscribe like a snare and and i'll see you guys in the next one till then Peace out.